You saw the thumbnail, you know what it is. Hey guys, this is Zebrix here, and today I'm going to be showing you my Mega Ski Ball Machine version 2. In collaboration with LEGO GC, me and him created this Mega Machine, which has a separate machine for dispensing the ball and a game. And additionally, a prize. But you can see, without winning, this prize bar cannot dispense the tray, and you won't get any candy. And this piece here will not give you a ball. So, to purchase a ball, you need to insert two pennies and slide the bar. If you decide to only pay one, no ball is dispensed. So, take two pennies and slide the bar. And you can see a ball has been dispensed. Now it's time to play. So from up here you can get a pretty good view of the machine. There's a spinner here, the winning hole, and the two losing holes. So you take your ball and you play. So, as you can see, I accidentally hit it in this losing hole. So you can't get your ball back. So you're going to move the machine back. And for this demonstration, it, since it costs two pennies, I'm going to need to get the coins back first. And to do that, you slide around this machine. You can see in the back that piece of the hole. It's a regular Technics piece, needs a key. One by one will do. Put it on, pull it out, and you can actually take out the machine. They're just attached by some pegs. So, you can attach that back. You have three coins. So, Put the bank back in, and you can purchase another ball. And you get another ball. Now it's time to play again. You can see I have one, and now the bar that did nothing before can be used to pull out this tray, which, ever so conveniently, holds your prize, a Tic Tac. So this machine holds three rounds of Tic Tacs, and you can hear it reloaded. And this machine can hold up to five balls, but since now you know losing and winning, I'm going to show you the mechanism. So first, I'm going to be showing you guys the ball mechanism for the ball machine. So, the ball will go in there, and you can see this bar piece. It's attached to the bar piece, I guess, and this is the dispensing piece. And the bar piece cannot reach it. When you put in a penny, it doesn't work either. But... When you insert two pennies, you can purchase a ball. So now I'm going to be showing you the mechanism of the ski ball machine. So first we're going to start off with how to reload the Tic Tacs. Very simple. Take off this white piece right here. And you can see there's a hole. You can drop your Tic Tac right in there and then you can reseal it. So I'm going to show you the prize mechanism. So when you don't win, you can see this button here, it doesn't touch anything. But when you win, if you go on the left here, you can see that this marble, when you win, it goes down either these ramps or these ramps and it goes into the hole. And now, when you pull it back, you can see it's strained a little. That's because it is pushing this tray out, which has a tic-tac. And you can see that the marble has fallen inside the machine. So, to get the balls that have lost back, you can open this piece up and pull this out. And there are actually a series of tunnels 
which make them all all the losing balls lead to the back. I'll show you that by doing this. And now you can see when you lose on this side, the ball will fall down this ramp and and it's actually gone to the other side right there. And all these lead to the back hole where you can empty them out and you can get them back. And yeah, you know, that's pretty much the mechanism of this machine. You can see this tube goes over and under this tube. Those two pieces were pretty hard to make. But yeah, that was my mega ski ball machine. And if you were wondering why I took so long to upload, it's not because of this. This machine took about four days to make. It's the fact that I went on vacation and then my school started, so I got delayed a lot. And I would have uploaded yesterday, but I had some technical difficulties with the ball game right before I recorded. So it works fine now, as you can see in the mechanism. And yeah. And since school's starting for me, I'll probably upload once a week now. I usually upload more than once a week, but I'm going to be slowed down a little, so I'll probably upload on the weekends like I did today. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.